Now, I have to admit, I was shocked when I arrived here. Uh, I mean, so soon after an election and things seemed to be happening. I was thinking, should I have changed that to the barbarians have breached the gates? <laughs> what we find is that governments now are being driven by a corporate agenda, which is not about our well-being and our happiness and our future. When you uh, look at the climate skeptics, most of them are hired guns for the fossil fuel industry. Many of them were the same people that were saying tobacco wasn't dangerous if you smoked it uh, 30 years ago. We know that taxes work as a way of changing human behavior. The carbon tax, putting a price on carbon, is by far the most effective way to begin to, to get corporations, to get companies, to get people to reduce their carbon footprint. Sweden, a northern country which imposed a carbon tax in 1992, they now pay $140 a ton to put carbon in the atmosphere. They have reduced their carbon emissions by 8% below 1990 levels, which is beyond the Kyoto target. And during that interval, their economy grew by more than 40%. So all of this argument that we can't afford to put a, carbon, a price on carbon, it will destroy the economy, is just what uh, the corporations uh, want believed and said. There is in Canada a legal category where people can be sued and thrown in the slammer called willful blindness. If people in positions of power deliberately suppress or ignore information that is vital to the decisions they're making. That is willful blindness. I call it more than willful blindness. I call it criminal negligence because it's a crime against future generations to avoid facing the reality of what's going on. And that is what Mr. Abbott is doing by canceling the commission, by firing Tim Flannery. It is criminal negligence by, through willful blindness. I come to Australia and I love Australia, I think of it as my second country, and yet uh, you've got something Canadians would die for called sunlight. <laughs> and you have the nerve to say that no, we can't get off coal. What the hell is going on? I know that you've got the expertise, CSIRO, your universities have really outstanding people if you just make the commitment that this is our opportunity, our energy source of the future. My God, you think of the opportunity. But no, we're still uh, stuck. And we're stuck because of the world in which human-created ideas of borders and economies uh, fence in the argument or the discussion.